I'm Mateo with Command Access. Today we're going to be reviewing the installation of our latest MLRK1 AR Adams Wright Latch Retraction Kit for the P88, 88, 86, 84, and 82 series devices. Today I'm going to be working with the 88 Star Wheel version. And this particular kit can be done on the door or you can remove the device and have it on your workbench, cart, or table like this. So we're gonna start off by removing the push pad. We'll start off pulling backwards until the front activating bracket's revealed. Then we'll pull forward to remove the push pad and set that aside. Next, we're gonna grab our mounting bracket. So let's take a look at how this will be installed. So the mounting bracket will fit right in that opening on the kit so that it locks it into place and lines up with those existing screw holes. If upon installation it doesn't line up and it's too far forward, it's gonna prevent the attaching hook on the motor kit from being able to come down all the way and lock into the back activating bracket. So let's drop the mounting bracket into the base rail and it can only twist one way. We'll twist it to lock it in. Let's grab our motor kit and on the back of the MM5, you'll see the two posts. Those are going to situate right in that center groove in the base rail. So you can see the mounting brackets on the bottom and then the MM5 will twist right into those center grooves right above where the mounting bracket situated. And I'm just showing here that we're sliding it in that groove. I can't pull up because it's in the proper location, but I can slide it back. Now I'm gonna drop the front of the kit down onto the back activating bracket. And now you can see why I want our mounting bracket close because it's gonna need to line up. Now I can slide the kit forward and backwards to confirm that that mounting bracket is in the proper channel. And we can see the holes are lined up confirming that. So next I can lift up on the attaching hook slightly and drop it on that roll pin on the back activating bracket. Now we'll see the activating bracket snap back into place. I'm gonna pull back on the motor kit just to make sure that it is fully extended. I can depress that activating bracket to make sure that everything is working properly with no binding. If you are having an issue with that back activating bracket, double check the opening and the mounting plate to make sure those are in the proper position. Now I can grab our two screws and install the motor kit to the mounting bracket to lock it into place. Next, I'll hook up to power from our command access field tester. Fire off the motor a few times just to make sure that everything's working properly. Once I've confirmed that, I'm going to go ahead and slide back on the filler plate. Starting with the back activating bracket and then moving the push pad forward to install on the front activating bracket, making sure it's going in the proper grooves. And if you set your push to set before without the push pad on, you might run into this issue where you set it too far depressed and now there's some mechanical binding because the motor cannot retract the push pad past its stop point. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my push to set by depressing the red button, applying power, I'll get the short beep. Now it's in learning mode. I'll depress the push pad to my desired location, apply power, get our long beep and release the push pad and power, refire to our new location, confirm it's in the proper position, make sure the new location releases the star wheel or latches. Then I'll fire it a few more times to make sure that everything's working correctly. And once we confirm that everything's working properly, you're ready to go. And that my friends is another successful installation.